Good afternoon, everyone. It's David Schlothauer here with another detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion for Monday, September the 16th, 2024. Now, in today's tropical weather forecast, there is some growing signal and concern from the GFS from the Canadian and from the Euro artificial intelligence model indicating the potential for a tropical storm, a hurricane, and a very strong major hurricane to develop in the Gulf of Mexico towards the end of September into early October. So this is a look at the GOES-16 True Color Visible Satellite Imagery courtesy of TropicalTidbits.com, Dr. Levi Cowan's website. There is what is left with the remnants of PTC number 8, which never developed and got named, fortunately, but still bringing a lot of impacts. Heavy rain, strong winds, some storm surge conditions with winds of 40 to 50 miles an hour. So that is a guarantee, even so it's not named, does not mean it's not a big issue. We have remnants or what is left with Tropical Depression Gordon likely to turn out to sea and re-strengthen into a tropical storm yet again as it or encounters this Barrel Clinic cold frontal boundary that is to its north. And then all eyes are on deck over the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean towards late September and early October for something big that could be developing. Now taking a look at the latest seven day graphical tropical weather outlook from the National Hurricane Center in Miami, Florida. And as we can clearly illustrate here, there are two areas to watch, but tro uh, potential Tropical Cyclone 8 really has a very low chance of coming back at all. In fact, it has made landfall just recently, according to the NHC, with winds of 35 miles an hour, pres pressure right around 1,006 millibars. And we have... Well, what is left with Tropical Depression Gordon with 35 mile an hour winds, very lopsided system, not going to be a threat to any land areas. But I want to be clear with my illustration here. I am very sure within the next two to three days or even sooner than that, the NHC will be highlighting this area soon for the potential for something big that is coming in late September into early October. So now to the meat of this discussion on the tropics. Everyone is really curious about what is going to be developing towards the end of September into early October over the Gulf of Mexico in the Caribbean and the southwestern Atlantic. It's not looking good, folks. Unfortunately, there are now more global computer models and ensemble signal showing something big that could be coming across the Caribbean into the Gulf of Mexico. So this is a look at the GFS model, cyclonic relative vorticity, how much spin there is in the atmosphere. So anything color coded here in red, orange, and yellow is how much spin there is in the atmosphere. So you can see here, here is a frontal-like system. Here is a tropical or subtropical doodad along a decaying cold frontal boundary. Here is PTC-8 over here. Here is what is possibly left or barely hanging on to a Tropical Depression Gordon situation this afternoon. So putting this into motion on the GFS model over the next two days, again, things look fairly quiet out there for the time being. But again, all eyes, I have said this too many times, all eyes are on deck in the Caribbean and in the Gulf of Mexico for something big later on in the period. Okay, I got breaking news to share with you all as the 18Z GFS model that initialized this afternoon on September the 16th 2024 is now explicitly showing a very strong category four, if not even a category five hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Now, even so, the GFS is showing this. I am not agreeing to it right now until we get more consistency of model run to model run. But the Canadian is also showing something similar as well, which I will show you here in a little bit. But the 18Z GFS, man, oh man, it is very, very aggressive. Wait until you see this. So this is um, for this weekend, September the 21st, the 22nd, the 23rd, the 24th, the 25th. So we're going out to, actually, let's back it out. It's the 23rd of September. You can see there is the Central American Gyre system taking shape. Here is your westerly flow. Here is your southerly flow. Here is your easterly flow. And we can see there it is. All that spin, that vorticity in the atmosphere. 
a indication of a hallmark of a system that does try to develop. Now, I'm going to fast forward this to day 10 because look what develops here. This becomes a tropical storm on the GFS, but that's not it. Let's go on to the very end of September, beyond the 26th. And I did mention to you all in the last couple of videos, I did tell you beyond the 25th and the 26th of September, we could be looking at a major hurricane developing or major tropical development. And it still seems to be sticking here on the last couple of runs of the GFS. So this is 270 hours out. We're going to go out to about roughly day 14 day 15 and look at this this thing is strong possibly a major hurricane here perhaps a cat four maybe even a category five and look at dark black spot on your screen indicating a hallmark of a major major hurricane and this would be making landfall somewhere perhaps near florida but i want to really be clear with what I'm looking at here for you all, that this is very, very, very far out. Okay, what you're seeing here has a 1% chance of verifying, okay? Because we don't know where this is going to go. It may go out to sea, or it may go here, it may go here, or it may go here, or it might simply do that. We just don't know right now. But what I do know is there's signals here that something big is developing in the Gulf of Mexico right around the 26th of September and beyond. And we can see this on a previous model run of the GFS. Let's go out to, say, 270 hours. We can see it was over here at 276 hours. So this would be the same time frame, September 27th. And now in today's run, it's over here just a little bit. So something big may be coming. We'll see if this remains consistent. And you can see here, on last night's run, it's over here over Florida, and the run before that, it's not even there. So there has been a notable uptrend here on the GFS model, and what you're seeing is something big. And that is right here, if we go out a little bit, 934 millibar system. 934 millibar system. That is very deep. That is very strong. And we will see if that actually pans out. By day five, so this is day five on the 12Z GFS forecast showing nothing big out there other than we may have to watch to see if this re-strengthens into Tropical Storm Gordon once again. It's just been a really weak system, very diluted, doing something like this and then going up and going out that way. Not going to impact any land areas. But watch what we have here. Pay close attention. This is 150 hours out. There is our tropical mischief, our Central American gyre disturbance mischief that is popping up on the GFS model. And let's see what happens to this, all right? Let's go out to day seven. So this is through Monday morning. September the 23rd, we can see there is our disturbance. Now, anything beyond seven days that I do show in these videos needs to be taken with a grain of salt, folks, all right? Because there have been people leaving comments towards me that, David, stop showing 10-day, 15-day forecasts, all right? At this point, we're going to need to show you this because there are signals, all right? Not every model is consistent here. We're not seeing every run showing a major hurricane, but there's signals. I'm seeing a signal, this Central American gyre, and we know what could happen this time of the year. Things could really sprawl up very quickly. So going forward, yes, the GFS indicates a tropical depression or tropical storm in about 10 days over the Gulf of Mexico, all right? And you all are probably gonna freak out. And I don't, I, and I understand that. I understand where you're coming from. It's okay to be freaking out a little bit when you see something like this, but understand it's 10 days out, 10 days. This is September the 26th. And this is about the time between the 25th to the 26th of September is when I'm expecting something big to potentially develop in the Caribbean and in the Gulf of Mexico. And you can see here on the 12Z GFS showing really something not good at all. This is really strong vorticity maximum picking up by uh, 
Friday afternoon, September the 27th. Again, really far out in time, folks. 11 to 12 days out here. So this is very unlikely to happen. But if it happens, that's why we talk about it, right? That's why I am not stopping to make these tropical updates because there is something popping up here on the deterministic GFS. And look at how strong that gets. By the 28th of September, yes, the 28th of September, we could be looking at a formidable major hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico. Where this goes, nobody knows, but you can see 940 millibars. Now, just because I say major hurricane is not to get views, to not get anyone's attention, but this is a possibility, okay? You got the favorable environment, the add upward motion that I'm about to show you, and we seriously, folks, cannot take our eyes off the Caribbean and then the Gulf of Mexico by late September into early October. This is basically showing us the ceiling of what could be coming later on this month into October. Okay, now looking at the Canadian model, this is September the 16th, the 17th, the 18th, the 19th, uh, the 20th of September. You can see there is Gordon possibly become our next or will get re-intensified to a tropical storm and then it kind of meanders out there for several days through day seven. Oh, look what we got day seven on the canadian model yes so the fact that the gfs so let's go back to the same time frame let's go and zoom out again use our vorticity plot again look at this remarkable the gfs and the canadian are both showing the same exact thing. That is why we are going to really have to watch this. Looking at the previous model on the Canadian, looking at the model before that, look at this. This has been really consistent right here. This is literally, yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven model runs of the Canadian model, very remarkable, very consistent. The GFS has been moving this all over the place, showing something either really big or not so big at all. That's why we are not going to take our eyes off of that. And that also hits Florida as a Category 2 or a Category 3 hurricane. Very strong system, possibly becoming a major hurricane off the Georgia or the Carolina coast in 10 days. That's why, again, folks, we really got to watch this area. Now, the European model, really not showing much at all over the next 10 days. We'll just kind of ride through this very quickly. Again, showing that, again, Gordon may develop into something a little more formidable later on, but nothing too big on that otherwise. And then look at the European model not showing anything yet. This is still very far out in about 10 days. Not even a monsoonal gyre out there or the Central American gyre other than you do have a little bit of that right over basically um, if you're in, uh, say, Tawanapec area of Mexico, that's where you're seeing that curly Q looking like a disturbance. But really, only the GFS and the Canadian models are indicating something that develops. Now, the artificial intelligence model, the AI of the Euro, is showing something that is pretty big possibly very significant. Let's look at the 0Z from last night because that's the only model that we have that has complete data. We will show you the 06Z run here briefly, but we can see um, as we go forward in time, again, 10 days out, showing us that system right there over the Northwestern Caribbean. What did the GFS, what did the Euro show or the Canadian model show? Same exact thing. That's why we are not taking our eyeballs off this. And look at what it does. It follows very similar to the GFS model, and it strengthens it to 965 millibars. Look at how intense that is. Very strong rotation on that. Now, looking at the 06Z uh, artificial intelligence model, a lot weaker on this, but it is very noteworthy to take note of. In 10 days, it is still showing it where the Canadian has it. So still looking like a big signal that we could be having our next tropical storm hurricane, if not a very strong major hurricane. What's even more concerning is that the European ensemble forecast showing a lot of members um, blowing this up to tropical storm intensity. 
we can see right here we have our hurricane, tropical storm, tropical storm, maybe a tropical depression, and a tropical depression uh, on this. So there is a group here of members showing um, significant tropical development. And by the 27th of September, I warned you all at the beginning of this video, the 26th is going to be the day that we're really going to have to watch. Look at this. This could be really bad news for the Gulf of Mexico and perhaps even for the western half of the Atlantic Basin. Nothing big going on in the Caribbean, but again, our system develops down here. It moves this way, might move that way into the southern portion of the Gulf of Mexico. Man, I'm just coughing a lot today. So now when taking a look at our latest GEFS ensemble forecast on our velocity potential anomaly, how much upward motion or sinking motion there is in the atmosphere. So all these blue colors, these green colors, all bets are off. A lot of upward motion over the Caribbean, over the Gulf of Mexico, over the Atlantic. A lot of sinking motion over here in the Central Pacific, into the Eastern Pacific. Very coincidental with our La Nina that is shaping up over here in the El Nino 3.4 region. And so all this upward motion over the Atlantic is going to ask for a lot of trouble potentially. And I'm telling you all, beyond the 26th of September, we could be looking at a lot of tropical development. Possibly our next couple of major hurricanes that could be developing by early October potentially because you can see by early October all of this favorable environment is coming to the Atlantic and the Caribbean. Even the European ensemble forecast is showing a similar output here of all of this upward motion favorable environment not a lot of dry air to be ingested into these systems not a lot of wind shear either so again beyond again that 23rd 24th even the 26th of September all bets are on uh, for significant tropical development here, possibly our next hurricane coming. Now, when it comes down to our ensemble track forecast on our cyclones that do develop in the Atlantic, the GEFS ensemble is thinking that another tropical wave coming off of Africa could induce some tropical development, maybe our next tropical depression or storm. You can see some of these uh, blue tracks going this way. So this would probably be an out to sea storm, but of course, this is through but of course this is through the 25th and the 26th of september but again all eyes are on deck over the northwestern caribbean and that is because all these tracks right here in the northwestern caribbean into the gulf of mexico do exhibit the potential for our next tropical storm our next hurricane and even our next major hurricane coming now when looking at the european ensemble prediction system here through the next 10 days, and as we can see here, it is showing the potential for our next tropical storm, our next hurricane, because we do have one track member there showing uh, about a Category 1 or even a Category 2 hurricane, but the majority here do bring this to strong tropical storm intensity with winds of 65 to 70 miles an hour. And I'm telling you all, the models are not making anything up. All of this green over here is moving over to the Atlantic. Again, this is the 16th through the 20th of September. You can see all this upward motion, the favorable environment. They're sinking over here. That is why we're not getting any development other than Gordon. But as this MJO over here, again, the 26th, it's over the Caribbean and over the Gulf of Mexico and over the Atlantic. And that's when I think maybe even sooner, maybe even the 24th of September, all eyes are on deck. We could see big trouble ahead over the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. I've said it so much times in this video, but I really want to iterate that. I want to be very clear and concise with my videos here that there is a very favorable MJO and a convective coupled Kelvin wave event coming over to the Atlantic. And this is going to really kickstart the Atlantic hurricane season into very active mode potentially. But anyways, if you did enjoy today's detailed tropical weather outlook and discussion for Monday, September the 16th, 2024, please consider hitting the red subscribe button right now. If you haven't already, hit the bell notification icon. 
Also share this with your family and friends on social media and never forget to also leave a comment in the section below. I want to know how you all enjoyed this video so that way I can make improvements if necessary to my tropical weather outlook and discussions. But otherwise, we are really going to have to keep an eye on the Caribbean and the Gulf of Mexico towards the end of September into early October because something big is coming and I know it's coming based on our signals, but you can only stay up to date here on the YouTube channel. But anyways, that's going to do it.